Hi everybody! According to the evolution theories, the next generations are supposed to be better than the previous generations, right? However, in very rare cases, there are exceptions. And here I have an exception. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lenovo ThinkPad T480S. In my opinion, the peak and the best slim laptop from the ThinkPad T series of the 2010s. It's a bold statement, but it's true, especially if you're using it with Linux. Let me show you why. ThinkPad T480S appeared on the market in 2018 and supports 7th and 8th generation Intel CPUs. There is no dedicated GPU and it supports Intel integrated graphics. The RAM is soldered on the system board, but there is also a slot for an upgrade, so in total ThinkPad T480S could support either to 20 or to 24 GB of RAM, depending on the amount of soldered RAM. The storage is M2 SSD, some models are with SATA and most models are with PCI Express NVMe. This particular unit is with Intel i5 8th generation CPU. ThinkPad T480S comes with 4 or 8 GB of RAM soldered on the system board. This particular unit came with 8 GB soldered. The huge hardware advantage is the slot for extra RAM memory. I performed a hardware upgrade and increased the total amount of RAM to 16 GB. Check out my video with the exact steps. The weight is 1.32 kg and the dimensions are approximately 33 by 23 cm with a height less than 2 cm. ThinkPad T480S comes with rapid charging lithium ion 57 watt hour battery. One of the very few hardware disadvantages is that the speakers are on the back, so the sound is not that good. By the way, optionally on the rear side of the laptop, there could be a nano SIM card slot. It's not available on all versions though. ThinkPad T480S is charged from a USB C connector and it comes with an appropriate AC adapter. There is an LED next to the USB-C connector which indicates when the computer is charging. ThinkPad T480S has quite a lot of ports for a laptop. On the left side from left to right we have the USB-C power connector, a couple of connectors for Thunderbolt station, LAN, USB 3.0 connector, HDMI, microphone and headphone jack and a USB card reader. On the right side there is a USB 3.0 connector and a Kensington lock for security purposes. Lenovo ThinkPad T480S supports opening the hinge up to 180 degrees. This could be really useful if you are traveling and if you are flying in economy class. In my opinion the design of ThinkPads is both simple, solid and good. Perfect for engineers and software developers. ThinkPad T480S has two iconic ThinkPad features. The red track point, which as you can see I have been using quite a lot. The Lenovo ThinkPad camera shutter nowadays is available pretty much on all high-end ThinkPads, but it was actually introduced in this Lenovo ThinkPad T480S. It's such a simple feature, but it was groundbreaking for 2018. There is an indication LED situated next to the camera shutter, which indicates when the camera is working. The camera is pretty decent and it works pretty well on Linux. Here is a quick demonstration with the popular user space software called Cheese. An outstanding feature of Lenovo ThinkPad laptops is the firmware that runs independently from operating system and allows you to do hardware configurations as well as hardware diagnostics. If you have seen other reviews of ThinkPad laptops on my channel, you're already familiar with this and ThinkPad T480S has the same capabilities. Let me quickly show you what you can do with them. Turn on the laptop, hit enter immediately when you see the Lenovo logo. This way you enter the startup interrupt menu. There are three options. You can press F12 to temporarily boot from a USB stick. This is useful if you want to install for example a Linux distribution. You have F10 to diagnose the hardware or F1 to enter the BIOS. First I would like to show you the BIOS so I've hit F1. It's a text uh, user interface. One of the features that I really like as part of the BIOS on Lenovo ThinkPad laptops 
is the option to temporarily disable the built-in battery. This is really useful if you're planning to clean the motherboard or to perform an upgrade. It is a great firmware feature because this way you can temporarily disable the built-in battery without actually removing it. After you're done with your repair or upgrade, just plug a USB-C power supply to re-enable the battery. The second firmware option that I would like to show you is the so-called Lenovo Diagnostics. In order to enter it, I have to turn on the computer again, hit enter on the red Lenovo logo and after that hit F10 from the interrupt menu. There are different tests for pretty much the whole hardware that is part of the Lenovo ThinkPad T480S. There are tests for the essentials of the computer such as the CPU and the RAM but you can also test peripheral devices such as the display, the storage, the uh, keyboard, the track point, the touchpad, pretty much everything. It is a great feature for um, testing the hardware, especially when you're suspecting a hardware failure. Let me make it clear and repeat that these firmware features are available independently from the operating system. Basically, you are running all these tests on low level, so it doesn't matter if you're running Microsoft Windows or a Linux distribution. The computer is like air conditioning. It becomes useless if you open Windows. Linus Torvald said that, not me. He's a genius and I completely agree with him. I bought this particular ThinkPad T480S back in 2018 and following Linus Torvald's recommendation, I wiped out the Microsoft Windows that uh, came with the computer and I've installed a Linux distribution. I'm a simple guy, so I'm using Ubuntu Linux distribution. It's a very popular, straightforward and easy to use distribution. Ubuntu is developed by a company called Canonical and it is heavily based on another Linux distribution, Debian. Ubuntu has releases twice per year, typically in April and October. Every two years, there is a long-term support release, which is maintained for four years. If you're looking for something stable that just works, the long-term support releases are a great option. As far as I remember, back in 2018, when I've purchased this ThinkPad T480S, I've installed Ubuntu 2404, which was the LTS release as of the moment, and since then I have been upgrading it every two years. Nowadays, by default, Ubuntu uses Systemd, runs on the Wayland Display Protocol and uses the GNOME desktop environment, although it is heavily modified. Right now I'm running Ubuntu 2404, which is a long-term support release on this Lenovo ThinkPad T480S, and even without any specific optimizations, it works pretty well. The only tricky part to get working is the fingerprint reader. The touchpad and the trackpad, which I actually prefer, work out of the box. Although we're speaking about the software in this chapter of the video, it is worth mentioning that Lenovo ThinkPad T480S has a built-in TPM20, which means that it's capable of supporting modern Windows versions, such as Windows 11. However, I highly recommend you to get rid of Windows and use Linux. On the website Lenovo.com, the manufacturer provides a list of recommended and tested Linux distributions for each of the ThinkPad and uh, ThinkCenter devices. So the recommendations for ThinkPad T480S are Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.4 and Ubuntu 16.04. Yes, both are quite outdated, but keep in mind that these tests have been done in 2018 when T480S was released on the market. One more thing. If you're an open source enthusiast and you care about security, you can go one step further and install Coreboot. This is an extended firmware platform that delivers a lightning fast and secure boot experience on modern computers and embedded systems. Support for Lenovo ThinkPad T480 as well as ThinkPad T480S was added to Coreboot 25010 in October 2025. The documentation of Coreboot contains a page dedicated to running it on ThinkPad T480 and T480S. It is the same process for both models. Advanced users can have a completely open source bootloader 
on their ThinkPads. Lenovo ThinkPad T480s is a compact laptop which you can easily carry around. However, if you want to use it on your desk with several monitors or other peripheral devices, you need a docking station. Let me show you what kind of options you have. In a nutshell, you can use Lenovo ThinkPad T480s with ThinkPad docking stations that support Thunderbolt 3 and newer. It should be fine with USB-C uh, docking stations as well. I recorded a couple of demonstrations using docking stations from the same time period. This is the ThinkPad Ultra docking station. The type is 48J. This docking station offers quite a lot of connectors. Uh, there is an Ethernet port, six USB ports out of which two are USB-C, there are two display ports and an HDMI port. It should be used with a Lenovo power supply with the so-called brick connector. The ThinkPad Ultra docking station is a bit old school, you have to slide in the laptop on top of it. It has this nice feature for locking with a key, this could be useful if you are using the ThinkPad T480s in an office and you want to lock it uh, when you go for lunch. In my opinion, the key feature is the power button, which is present on the docking station. This way you can turn on the ThinkPad directly from the docking station. The second demonstration is with a more compact docking station. The exact model is Lenovo ThinkPad USB-C dock type 40A9. It uses the same power supply with a brick plug. The key difference is that instead of sliding in the computer, this time you connect it to your ThinkPad using a USB-C cable. The USB-C docking station has less ports. There are two display ports, one VGA and four USB ports. There is also an Ethernet. On the front of the docking station, you get an audio jack, an extra uh, USB port and a USB-C port. The power button is on top of it. Both of the demonstrated docking stations are old and quite cheap nowadays. If you decide to spend more money and buy a modern Thunderbolt 4 docking station, yes it will work with your ThinkPad T480s, however it will work in a backward compatible mode with Thunderbolt 3. Let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison between ThinkPad T480s and the next generation, T490S that appeared on the market in 2019. Both have pretty much the same dimensions, however the new generation T490S is slimmer. It is also slightly lighter, but this comes as a trade-off at a huge price. And I'm not talking about money. With T490S you cannot perform a RAM upgrade, you cannot easily change the keyboard, I mean you can change it but you have to disassemble the whole computer, while in ThinkPad T480s, you can easily add more RAM and you can also easily swap the keyboard from the front. The worst part is that the next generation comes without an Ethernet port. Both ThinkPad T480s and T490s are running 8th generation Intel CPUs. So in my opinion, actually the older model is the better. I prefer T480s. By the way, in 2020, Lenovo changed the numbering of the T series and switched to T14s, which has the same shortcomings, just like as T490s. If you like T480s, but you're looking for something more modern, probably ThinkPad T14, yes, 14 without the S, is a good choice for you. ThinkPad T480s is a great laptop and it has a lot of advantages, especially if you're comparing it to other laptops from the same era. It is very compact and just like all ThinkPads, it's very solid in terms of build quality and it also has these great firmware options that we've discussed. ThinkPad T480s was one of the very first ThinkPad models with USB-C charging. Furthermore, it also supports Thunderbolt 3 and you can attach it to a docking station as I showed you earlier in the video. Other advantages are the numerous ports that you have on both sides, including an Ethernet port, which is really important for me. Uh, ThinkPad T480s is also very good in terms of repairability and upgradability. You can easily swap the SSD 
or add extra RAM. I have already done this in another video. So if you're interested in performing a RAM upgrade, have a look at it. A link is available in the description of the video. Last but not least, ThinkPad T480S also supports Core Boot, so you can have entirely open source uh, bootloader on it. ThinkPad T480S is perfect, almost perfect. Well, it's an old laptop, so by today's standards, the Intel uh, 8th generation CPUs are a little bit outdated, but they're still good to go. Uh, it also came only with um, four or eight gigabytes soldered uh, to the main board. This particular model had uh, just eight gigabytes soldered. So I've performed an upgrade and now it has 16 gigabytes. As I mentioned during the advantages, it's very easy to upgrade it. Uh, another thing worth mentioning is that you don't have uh, the cutting edge technologies. For example, you have Thunderbolt 3, but you don't have Thunderbolt 4. And that's expected because as I told you, it's uh, still an old laptop. Uh, initially, when it was released on the market, there were some issues with Thunderbolt 3 support. Uh, these uh, issues were fixed with a firmware upgrade. So if you are uh, using ThinkPad T480S today, please make sure that you are running the latest firmware. Uh, especially Ubuntu Linux users can easily upgrade the firmware with a graphical user interface application called Firmware Updater, which I have reviewed in another video. At the end of the video, let's summarize the most important things about ThinkPad T480S. The machine supports Intel 7th and 8th generation CPUs. The RAM memory is soldered to the system motherboard. It comes with either 4 or 8 GB soldered. However, there is an option to perform a RAM upgrade. The maximum supported amount of DDR4 RAM is either 20 or 24 GB, depending on the amount of soldered RAM. The particular unit that I've reviewed had 16 GB of RAM and Intel i5 8th generation CPU. T480S has the iconic ThinkPad design, including the camera shutter and the uh, red trackpad. It works great with Linux and you can even install Core Boot as an open source firmware bootloader. T480S is relatively easy to repair and maintain. ThinkPad T480S was an amazing laptop for its time. Although the 8th generation Intel CPUs are a bit old for today's standards, it is still a great machine that is aging really well. In 100 years, we'll be all gone, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a museum piece somewhere around the world. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos. See you soon.